In the centuries since that first gathering of writers who called themselves pen, the succession of pen members and pen chapters and the writers they've defended, it's all part of a legacy that attests to the force of literature, to the rare and radical freedom of the artist, and to writing as a matter of ultimate importance. As an advocate who has championed stalwart US leadership on free speech issues worldwide, I barely recognize my own country. You can get, just start throwing it in there. 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 Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. We've tracked 2,000 school book bans in the past year. In the past two years, nearly 200 educational gag order bills in 41 states. Oh, this monument was just staying here, uh, no danger, nothing, but they did uh, such an awful thing. They did the same with uh, alive people. They are not strangers or abstract names on a page. They are our colleagues and our friends. Salman Rushdie has been attacked while giving a speech in Western New York. Fell to the ground, the man was quickly restrained. A poem will not stop a bullet. A novel cannot defuse a bomb. Not all our satirists are heroes. Dishonest narratives of oppressors have proved attractive to many. So we must work to overturn the false narratives of tyrants, populists, and fools by telling better stories than they do. That the powerful may own the present, but writers own the future. I decided to reread Salman's books. And reading became not only an act of defiant support, but an act of meaning. It was important for me to remind myself how much words matter, how much books matter. We are here tonight, of course, to celebrate the incredible literary gala honorees and to show our gratitude to PEN America. Books, screenplays, and creativity in other forms can make this world a better and a safer place. If ever it was time, to understand what it means to defend democracy, the right to live and speak freely, that time is with us now.